What's up guys, it's Wasabi and I'm back with another review. Today we have the latest addition to Zowie's XLX series eSports monitors. Big thanks to Zowie APEC team for sending me the XL2586X and this new XL2566X Plus so early to test and to share my thoughts, personal opinions and experiences with you from a gamer's perspective. This is not a technical video. Been in contact with Zowie for the past couple of months and they are some of the nicest and most passionate people about eSports I've ever ever had the pleasure of working with. But anyway, here's a quick look at what's included because that's what you pay for too. All XLX series monitors comes with an S-Switch, the monitor shield, a 1.8 meter power cable, DisplayPort 1.4 and HDMI 2.1, both are 1.8 meters in length, a quick start guide, the monitor base and monitor stand, and the XL2566X Plus monitor itself. Now before we go any further, let's manage some expectations here real quick. Zowie's high performance monitors are purposefully built for esports and to give professional gamers the competitive edge. It is designed for a very specific purpose, so if you're looking for a monitor that gives you beautiful images and realistic colors, you'd be better off exploring other options. This new XL2566X Plus is quite an important release for Zowie to complete the XLX lineup. And as some of you may or may not know, the XL2566K is VCT Pacific's official monitor. Also, Zowie monitors are very much used by many esports professionals today. For how much it costs and its availability, you may want to check with Zowie in your respective regions. But for reference, this is going to cost about 1099 Singapore dollars, which is about 827 USD. With Zowie, the priority with all their monitors, as I've been told, is to provide the best in motion clarity, target identification, and esports design. So with this new XL2566X+, let's take a look at how the upgrades and tech fulfill the top three priorities. Starting with how this new monitor is different. The main difference this has over the XL2566K is the refresh rate of 400Hz which is also a first for Zowie. And in comparison to all Zowie monitors, it's got what they call the new fast TN panel that is launching with this model. Might be a little confusing I know but this is a new and improved TN panel that is newer than the other two monitors in the XLX series. This new panel has been meticulously redesigned to enhance color performance and it does provide more vibrant hues and greater clarity to help with identifying targets in-game. It also has faster electrical conductivity which makes it feel incredibly responsive and you get less overshoot over the previous fast TN panel. Other advantages with Zowie's fast TN panel for in-game situations in tactical FPS. For example, this panel helps with flash recovery much quicker which is usually a life or death situation that happens quite frequently in games like Valorant and CS2. This monitor also has Diac2 which is Zowie's latest technology introduced with the XLX series monitors. The technology effectively reduces motion blur, making it easier to see enemies with clearer and sharper outlines of moving images. Basically helps you to focus with fewer distractions from the after image of motion in game while being easier on the eyes compared to Diac Plus, which was used in the XLK series. So as you can tell, with all these features working together, you get excellent motion clarity and better target identification, which are two of the top three priorities with Zowie's eSports monitors. But what about the third thing which is eSports design? Well, that's where the improvements to the monitor stand were introduced with the XLX series. Industrial grade bearings in the stand to smoothly and precisely adjust the monitor height along with markings on the side for you to adjust back to your preferred setting. It features a smaller base than the XLK series which lets you place your monitor up close and allows for more space for your keyboard and mouse pad. This really is a fantastic monitor stand. It's very well built and easy to adjust. Also considering that most gamers' preferences are leaning towards larger mouse pads, this new design allows for more desk space for you to work with. With all of Zowie's latest monitors, it comes with an S-Switch which is this little controller right here. This was implemented with their monitors for players on stage to quickly adjust their settings compared to having to fiddle with the little joystick behind the monitor. And apparently it's more than just a controller, it lets you save up to three profiles to it which is another feature that makes it very convenient for professionals to plug this in and load up the settings. But for most gamers, this would mostly be used to navigate through the menu. XL setting to share. This is Zowie software that lets you do a couple of things. First is auto game mode. This is a feature that I feel is super convenient if you play different games and have settings for each. And what this does is that it automatically loads up your selected profile with each game that you launch. So you don't have to fiddle with the controls at all. And when you go back to your desktop, it loads up your desktop monitor settings. It's pretty seamless and very convenient. 
convenient. For our XLX series monitors, they are already loaded up with presets tailored for more popular titles. The FPS 1 mode is optimized for CS2, FPS 2 for Valorant, and FPS 3 for Apex. My settings are pretty simple. I have one for Valorant, and I'm going to show you here real quick how I download Zowie's color mode from their website, which they created for Overwatch 2. All you gotta do is press this button here, and it brings you to their website, where you can download a couple of game mode profiles for you to use. Use the import function to bring in the file, and double click on the imported profile to load it up. There is an article on prosettings.net that contains downloadable settings from professional players. However, I'm not sure if the files are up to date, and players do not usually share their files. To be honest, this feels a bit too much of a hassle to share their settings, and most pro players share their peripheral settings on Twitch. Choosing a monitor from the XRX series very much depends on your computer hardware because if you go for the most expensive with the highest refresh rate, you might just be getting way more than you need. And in a way, it's a bit of a waste because you're not utilizing the full potential of the monitor. Choosing which monitor also depends on the games that you play and perhaps take into consideration what else you do on your computer that's important to you. Because again, this is a monitor that is made specifically for esports and to give you an edge in competitive gaming and really nothing else. It's a monitor for a very specific use. If you want beautiful colors or a jack of all trades kind of thing, you'd be a lot happier with other options and that is a fact. I always say there's something for everyone and for me, I always try it before I hate it. I personally enjoy using Zowie monitors for Valorant and Overwatch 2. For everything else, for casual games, watching movies and video editing, I prefer using my ultra-wide OLED. But does that mean that you can't use a Zowie monitor for those things? Absolutely not. After using all three XLX series monitors, which one would I pick? For me, I go with the new XL2566X+. Plus. The XL2566X Plus feels like the ideal choice for gamers who are familiar with or have experience using Zowie's monitors. But what I can say is that for most people, the XL2546X with 240Hz refresh rate would be more than enough to enjoy all of Zowie's monitor tech. I mean, the XL2546X and moving on to this has enough of a difference to know this, but I would not say it's a massive difference in any way. But it still is an improvement and with the PC hardware that I have now, it's just a bit more than what I need. So in conclusion, what are three things I like about this monitor? First is the clarity and the new fast TN panel stands out, delivering more vibrant colors. And for me, it's easier to spot and track targets in game and motion clarity with Zowie's monitors in general is just so good. I wouldn't say that it's a drastic difference over the other two, but it still is an improvement and for a monitor like this, it's something worth noting. Second is the quality and Zowie truly excels in this aspect. Their monitors are very sturdy and durable and offer a peace of mind, especially for those who frequently manhandle their monitors to readjust the position. It is comforting to know that their equipment is built to last. And the third thing is its performance. 400Hz feels more than just enough compared to 540Hz which is overkill in my opinion. The XL2566X Plus has an impressive 400Hz refresh rate and with the upgraded fast TN panel, everything is just so buttery smooth and clear which I've been enjoying a lot. Now what are three things I feel could be improved? The first thing is that I would like to see what Zowie can do with OLED tech or perhaps something newer than that if they can because it feels like it's been a long time coming. Zowie is a brand that perfects what they do with what they have and I can respect that but there is no doubt that people are eager to see something very different from them. The second thing is that I feel the Excel setting to share software isn't very well executed, at least for the sharing aspect of it. And honestly, I'm not so fond of the idea of downloading files just to load up monitor settings. I like the fact that majority of esports professionals are using Zowie's monitors and you can find their settings on prosettings.net, but just not the latest downloadable files. If Zowie can figure out some way to share settings just by simply copying and pasting profile codes like sharing profiles of a Wooten keyboard or sharing crosshair settings like in Valorant, it could very well be one of the biggest selling points for Zowie monitors over other esports monitors. With a feature like that, gamers can easily try new settings without having to download a file. Maybe they'll come across a player profile that is very close to what suits them and all they have to do is very minimal adjustments to it if they want to. Zowie already has fantastic esports monitors and a huge user base. I think if they want to win over the support of more gamers, not just esports professionals, but aspiring and casual competitive gamers as 
as well. This is something that needs to start now. And the last thing is Zowie does not make very aesthetically pleasing products. It always sorta looks outdated in a way. This is not something that affects performance in any way, but I would like to see what they can do differently with the next generation of esports monitors. The XL2566X Plus is Zowie's flagship monitor and it is not considered cheap by any means, especially for some people since it features a TN panel, which is considered old tech. If you are looking to experience HDR or great image quality, then well, this is not a monitor for you. But for those of you who are looking to experience an esports monitor with what has Zowie's latest version of their TN panel and Diag2 technology that has been specifically developed and improved over the years, purely to give you an edge for competitive gaming, this is a monitor that would be of interest to you and you will find more value in because of what you mainly use it for. I enjoy Zowie monitors and the quality of their products. I respect their passion and dedication for developing products for esports players. And though I'm no esports professional, I can appreciate the technology and performance that you get out of it. It is impressive. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. And I guess I'll see you in the next one.